And we're back again. How do you approach people about your products? That's a pretty simple question and a question that we're going to answer today. Hey everybody, this is Coach Isai coming at you with more tips, tricks, and advice so that you can get the most out of your network marketing business. And as you're coming on, drop me a thumbs up. Let me know you're here. Give me some, some hearts. Show me some love. And drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing today, where you're coming in from, what part of the globe you're tuning in from. I always like to know where, where this message is getting out to. So let's get started. How do you approach people about your product? So I get this question every once in a while. And usually, obviously, it's from the newbies. And um, I figured I would record this video and uh, use it and point my new recruits to this so if you're watching this how are you doing thanks for watching so the first thing is you're overthinking it you if you're asking the question how do I approach somebody about my product then right off the bat you're already thinking way too much first thing you have to do is go out there and start putting yourself in front of people get out of the analysis paralysis mentality and just get out there and start introducing people to your product. Now on that same note, how do you do that? Good question. Get out there, be willing to get a no. Get rid of the idea that it has to be perfect right off the bat, it's not. It's not going to, you're gonna to need to work up to it being perfect. And even when you think it's perfect, it's not perfect because every situation is different. Everybody that you approach is going to have a different mentality. Is going to have you're going to have different relationships with them. Every conversation is going to be different. So stop thinking that you need the perfect script or the perfect line to sign someone up for your product. Overcome your addiction to the outcome. When you first start off, you're definitely going to get more no's than yeses. Just be aware of that. It's going to happen. But the more no's that you get the closer you get to a yes. And before you know it, you're gonna start getting so many yeses that you don't know what to do with. <laughs> but coach, how do I get to that point? Like, what do I say? So again, you may be overthinking it a little bit too much. Let me tell you this though. What you don't wanna do is start rat rattling off facts and figures and secret ingredients. None of that matters. None of that matters. What does matter is what does it do for that person, that individual? What is it doing for you? That is, what are the benefits? For instance, you want to present the benefit when you're presenting the product to somebody. Because again, nobody cares about what super vitamin your, your shake has or what this is. Like All they care about is what is it going to do for me. So take that benefit and frame your question with that benefit. For instance, let's say you sell tightening and toning firming cream of some sort. I'm just going out there on a limb and saying that. Let's say that's what you're doing. So you want, you might want to take the angle of like you call someone or you're texting or whatever and you say, hey, Jill, I have this new skin cream and I know you certainly don't need it because you already look young and beautiful. But do you know anybody that might want to look young and beautiful? And then you just sit back and wait. Let them answer. Because a lot of times they're going to think about that and be like, hmm, who do I know? And as they're thinking, they're like, wait, I want to look young and beautiful. Like, you know, tell me a little bit more about this. And so if they, get, if they, if you get a positive reaction out of this, then at that point, you want to follow whatever it is your team has put in place, like whatever system they have in place to get from that point to getting them, you know, to the next step. For instance, in my company, we tend to like if I were like, let's say if that were me and I asked, you know, Jill, hey, I have this skin cream here and it's probably not for you because you're already you're already bright and beautiful as it is. Your skin is glowing. But do you know anybody that may want to look younger? If I get a good reaction out of that, I'm going to try and get them a sample. So with my company, with my team, when we get a good reaction out of that first initial question, then we try to steer them to a sample. We'll say something like, great, that is awesome. You know, I do have a few samples if you're at all open to giving it a shot. And then just take them through the steps. You have to find out what those steps are with your team, but that's initially how you want to go about it. If you're overthinking the fact that, you know, how do I come up, like how do I talk to somebody about this? Take the benefit, wrap that into a nice question, and introduce it to somebody. 
but you have to get out there and do it. The sooner you get over your addiction to the outcome of whether, whether it's a negative or a positive, a yes versus a no, the sooner you get over that, the sooner you're going to start signing people up. Once you're unaffected by that no, you're just going to move on and you're going to get another no and then you're going to move on and eventually you're going to find that yes and then it's like boom, bingo. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it and found value out of this video training. If you haven't done so already, follow my Facebook page, Set to See First. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, leave me a message, let me know what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, or if you have any suggestions, boom, I'm here, I'm listening. And as usual, if you wanna get in-depth training in the attraction marketing, then sign up below for the Attraction Marketing Bootcamp where Fernie Ceballos is going to show you each step to a true attraction marketing formula. Work the internet. Have the internet working for you. Have people come to you. Attract them to you so that you're not out there all the time having to find people. Let the internet find those people and bring them to you. That's the basis of attraction marketing and you can be doing it too. So again, I hope you found value. If you did, Share this with your friends. Tag your uplines, your sidelines, your downlines. Share it on your page. And until the next time, take care. Bye.